Hey everyone, Joy from Sunday Sounds here. Let's take a look at our patch designed in the style of Come Alive as originally performed by Hillsong Worship. We play the song in its original key of C and at its original tempo of 102 BPM. This patch has piano, ambient pads, strings, brass, and some arps that come in as you increase the mod wheel for intensity to build the song. There are strings in the left hand range as well as in the highest range. You will be playing a strings part up here There is piano all in this middle area that you can use as well. And it's gonna go from here all the way up through to here. For this patch, sometimes you'll want to play single notes in the upper left-hand range, especially the first half of the song up through verse three. And I'll mention that throughout in the different sections of the tutorial. The upper left-hand range is these notes from here. to here. This note here will be a little bit different because it's the opening intro note and pad and I like to add it in at the very end. The lower left hand range adds in some arps, thicker pads, and strings and brass as you increase the mod wheel. For the intro, you'll have the mod wheel at zero, and you'll just hold this note for 16 counts before you go into the chorus, if you do this like the recording. Verse one and two are played the same for this song. So you'll have the mod wheel at zero and you'll be playing single notes in the left hand upper octave range, right in here. For the right hand, you'll play a few notes up high with the strings. I'll go ahead and play both hands together. For verse three, you'll have the mod wheel one third of the way up. And you'll add in a couple extra notes to build the melody a bit, along with the left hand in that same upper octave. So I like to do it like this. Verse four is the same, except now you'll have octaves in the left hand instead of single notes to bring in more instruments. I'd also like to point out that after verse one and verse three, they do one time through the progression instrumentally that's part of those verses. You'll want to consider how you want to move the mod wheel through these different sections. You can take a look at the demo to see how I like to do it. And I like to hit the chord and then real quick move my left hand to switch the mod wheel to wherever it needs to go. But it may take you a little bit of practice to do that quickly and to figure out what will work best for you. For chorus one, that comes right after the intro, if you're playing it like the record, you'll have the mod wheel at zero. You'll play single notes in the upper left hand range and a two note chord in the right hand in the mid range. That's the same through the progression. So here's both hands together a few times. For all 
the choruses after the first one, I like to add in a string part up high. It's in the same range as your verses. Another option is to do the same parts on the piano in the mid-range that you did for chorus one, if you wanted to, just depending on your band and what suits the arrangement you're after. For chorus two, after verse two, you'll have the mod wheel here at zero. Left hand will still be in the upper left hand range, and I like to do a high string part here with my right hand. So here's what right hand looks like. And that part repeats a second time. So here's hands together. For chorus three, after verse four, you'll increase the mod wheel to two thirds of the way up. Now you'll have the left hand in octaves and I like to play a different string part in my right hand. It goes like this. Here's a couple times through both hands together. After this chorus, there will be an interlude that goes through the progression four times. And for that, I like to play the same right hand part that you do in verse one with the mod wheel one third of the way up and single notes in the left hand. I'll show you how I do it hands together. For the final chorus, you'll have the mod wheel all the way at 100 and left hand in octaves. There's an instrumental that comes right before it, and I like to do the same right hand part for this instrumental and chorus. It comes after the final time through the bridge, so you'll play the right hand like this. Now I'll go ahead and play a couple times through your hands together. The song ends with an outro and the same progression for eight times. I like to do simple piano chords in the right hand to end along with single notes in the upper left hand range, similar to what you did in the opening chorus. Check out the demo to see how I like to play it. For the first part of the bridge, you'll have the mod wheel one third of the way up. And you'll play the same right hand chords on beat one and beat three, holding the half notes. You'll play this chord a total of 16 times. I like to think of it as four sets of four when I'm counting. You'll increase the mod wheel to two thirds of the way up for the second part of the bridge and add the left hand in octaves now. I double up the rhythm in the right hand so it's faster and add in a couple extra notes. So here's how they sound together.
Again, to see how I transition between different sections of the song and build the intensity, go ahead and check out the demo. Now just to review the different mod wheel positions, you'll start with the mod wheel at zero for the intro. And you'll keep it at zero for that first chorus and for your first couple of verses, as well as the outro at the end. You'll have it here a third of the way up for your bigger verses, your interlude, and the first time through the bridge. You'll have it here at two thirds for your bigger choruses and your bigger bridge. And then you'll bring it all the way to 100 for the final chorus and instrumental. Now, before I let you go, I wanted to let you know there's a Facebook group called Sunday Sounds Insiders, where you can find sneak peeks and last minute troubleshooting help, creative ideas, rigged photos, and it would be awesome to see you in there. Until then, I'm Joy with Sunday Sounds. See you next time.